Kurt here at DIY 4 by We're in the garage again. Um, I want to do a quick video on this topic. I get asked about it a lot. Some of our hangers, like our B52 kit, our SAS kit, our A-bomb, they have this adjustable front hanger. Let me put that in there so you guys have more options on what you're going to do with your axle placement. But I get asked a lot, how, how do you set up, how do you know where to put the front of your leaf spring? So I'm just going to show you a technique that you can use to determine that spot on your hanger, which, which place your leaf spring is going to go in. You can use this knowledge any way you want. You can apply it to a lot of different things on cars, trucks. We do the same thing when we're setting up a drag car, when we're starting to design a chassis off of a drag car. You can see all the lines we got laid out in here. And I'll show you how we do that. It's really, really very simple. You basically just need some simple measuring devices. And the key, the key to the whole thing is a plumb bob. Nothing special about it, just like any carpenter would have in his toolbox. So I'll just kind of show you real quick how you do this. For instance, as it relates to the hanger and the spring hanger and your axle placement, for my purposes on this build, I would like my axle to be in, or my tire to be in the center of the wheel well when the suspension is at full compression, or in other words, when the leaf spring is flat. So to figure that out, it's really simple. You drop yourself a plumb bob from the corners of your fender well, and you make a mark on the floor, like I've done right there. Get my pointer back. Like I've done right here, and I've done it right there. And I did the same thing on the other side of the truck. So now with some simple measuring on the floor here, using the floor as my table, as it were, you can determine where your axle center line would be in relationship to the center of the wheel well. From there, knowing that your axle needs to be here, all you need to know is what the front half of your leaf spring would measure if it were completely flat. And you can see here, I got some marks up here on the floor. We've taken a straight line across, that's our axle center line. And remember, this is at full compression on the suspension. From here, I can measure, and I got two lines, 26 inches would be the front half of a, of a Chevy 52. Then this 24 inch, I went ahead and put that mark on the floor. That would be um, the front half of a Dodge 52, since they got the two inch offset center pin. So once you have these marks on the floor, you know where that spring eye would have to be if your axle and your suspension are at full compression. Now, you take your simple plumb bob again and drop it down on the center of one of these holes and where you end up. So there you are. If I want to be if I want to use a Chevy 52 inch spring and I want my axle and tire to be centered in the wheel well when the suspension is completely compressed I can put that leaf spring right in that hole right there and know I'm there. Now like I said this is just a technique to help you measure that out and figure that all out. From here you can do a lot of different stuff. You can say well okay I want a little bit better approach angle. So now I know this is where I would be at full stuff. I would be in the center. I'm going to be, I'm going to have the wheel an inch forward of that by going in this hole. Or better approach angle yet, come all the way to the front. You're two inches forward of that. Or use a Dodge 52 and you can see how far you can start to pull your axle forward. You can also use this technique to figure out where where your steering box is going to be. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to climb under there and show you that, but if you had your pitman arm on the steering box, you could go ahead and hang this plumb bob from that and drop a point on the floor. With your steering arms on the axle, you can measure how far forward your drag link position is and know where your drag link 
and steering arm positions, how they're going to relate to each other as you start to move the axle forward. All those things you can figure out just by having yourself a plumb bob and dropping some points from your truck onto the floor. Um, once you got that point up there figured out, you can take a measurement from there to the back, your total spring length, and know where your rear hanger is going to be. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. If you don't got a plumb bob in your toolbox, get one. Thanks. Hey guys, uh, hold the phone. I forgot one really super, super important detail. If you're going to use a plumb bob to help you lay out your suspension or your chassis or whatever it is, one thing you've got to do first is you have to level the chassis. If your chassis is not level, your truck has got a big slant on it, or you're trying to do it in a driveway with slope on it, it's not going to work. The problem would be your truck's not true square to this string, so all your measurements would be out of whack. So you have to make sure the chassis is level or everything is going to be wrong. Don't forget to level the chassis. Later. <laughs>